Now, can you tell me about uh, what is a, a clopper? A uh, person who enjoys erotic pony art, I guess. Now, you would consider yourself a clopper, wouldn't you? Mm, sometimes. It depends. So, have you pleasured yourself to a My Little Pony image? Uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, how many times would you say? Uh, I don't know a lot. What's the most sexually attractive feature of a pony? The plot. The what? The plot. Now, what body part is that exactly? The rear end, the bad. So you're turned on by a, a sexy pony ass? Yeah. Sir, what brings you out to BronyCon? I just decided that I wanted to finally make the trip to come and see all the other bronies and check it out. What is a brony? A brony is basically um, a fan of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Universe. Um, they like watching the show, maybe dressing up, um, the artwork, the stories, everything. Now, which character are you dressed up as today? Rainbow Dash. So why did you choose Rainbow Dash? Because she's like my favorite and everyone always says that I'm most like her. <laughs> Could you sing a few bars from the My Little Pony theme song for me? My little pony, my little pony. Ah. What's the biggest misconception about bronies? That we all want to uh, screw ponies. What is the darker side of the brony fandom? Uh, those would be the people who actually like look at the porn of the characters and have actually made like plushies that you can use for sexual purposes. Oh boy! Well, what is a plushie? Um, a stuffed animal. <laughs> what is a clobber? Basically the uh, equivalent to a connoisseur of pornography. Pony pornography? Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever pledged yourself to a My Little Pony character? I'd be lying if I said no. Well, which uh, My Little Pony do you find most sexually appealing? Oh, God. Probably Twilight. What's her most uh, attractive feature? As anyone would say, sweet pony ass. What brings you out to BronyCon? Well, I came here from San Francisco, so I made a long trip. Wow. And I love the ponies. Describe for the radio audience, what is Rule 34? Rule 34, um, if it exists, there is porn of it. So you're saying that there is My Little Pony pornography out there? There's plenty of it. <laughs> what is clopping? Clopping um, is the uh, pony term for uh, the fapping, which is also uh, another term for uh, masturbation. You said flapping? Fapping. Fapping. That is the sound you make when you... <laughs> yeah. Fapping is the sound that what? Fapping is the sound you make when a man masturbates. Which pony are you most sexually attracted to? Um, um, mm, toss up between uh, Rarity and Pinkie Pie. Rarity and Pinkie Pie? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever pleasured yourself to the image of a pony? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I have. <laughs> now, which pony do you jerk off to most often? I will not answer that question. How much uh, My Little Pony memorabilia do you have in your collection? Counting pictures, 27,000. Now, where do you store most of your My Little Pony collectibles? I hide it away in my room until it's a bit more uh, mainstream. Now, why, why do you hide it away? Uh, because uh, they already think I'm, most of my family thinks I'm weird already. It's hard to explain my to my rest of my friends and family that it's and actually good when they still see it's kids show uh, I'm curious to know how old are you 27 and you currently live with your parents yeah uh, markets tight I can't find an apartment markets tight the markets tight mm -hmm. is your father proud of you right now I don't think he'd be uh, too much uh, saying that's my boy but he's proud of me now what does your girlfriend think about your obsession with my little pony I'll ask her as soon as I find one. Not much girls uh, that are free <laughs> out much. in the Wapaka, but I keep looking. Who is your favorite My Little Pony character? Princess Luna. Uh, absolutely, without a doubt. She's the one that I can most identify with. I know exactly what it feels like when she's trying to get out there, make friends, and have people just be absolutely afraid of you. Now, why do you feel that people are afraid of you? Well, it's unfortunate, but you know I've always been a fairly tall person. Um, you know, I have a tendency to have a very serious sort of appearance to my face. You know, I don't smile very easily, so it tends to make people a little bit skittish. Um, <laughs> there was actually a time when somebody actually reported me as a potential terrorist just for going into a store and shopping. Uh, who are you dressed up as today? 
Today I'm dressed as Shining Armor, uh, Twilight Sparkle's big brother. Huh. Now, what do you think about your obsession with My Little Pony? To be honest, I don't tell them. Um, <laughs> my parents are a little bit old-fashioned. They probably yeah. wouldn't understand. You know, I'm not, I'm not secretive with my friends, but when I know it's going to cause a problem, I keep it to myself. Right. Now, what Smart. would be harder for your father to hear? You coming out of the closet as a gay man or coming out of the closet as a brownie? I think he would have a lot more tr trouble with the brony, just because <laughs> you know he he wouldn't be able to look past the idea that is for little kids. Yeah, you know he he wouldn't be able to see past that anyone could enjoy the show. He's a Sing a few bars of the My Little Pony theme song for me. Uh, my little pony, I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony, until you all shared this magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. Beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. Magic makes it all complete. Yeah, my little pony. I'm curious to know, how old are you? I am 28, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I am currently unemployed. Uh, and what do your parents think about your obsession with My Little Ponies? Uh, they don't seem to care. Hmm. I've, it's That's not weird. the first odd thing I've latched on to. Oh, wow. What now, else? Do you think that what they are disappointed is... in you a little bit? <laughs> Maybe sometimes. Maybe. How motivated are you to get out of the house and find a job? Uh, I've actually been suffering from fairly severe depression, but I'm uh, actually coming here is actually helping and <laughs> bringing me out of the rut. How many ponies would you say you have in your collection? I've... Eight. One of each of the main six and the two princesses. And where do you keep your My Little Pony collection? Uh, they're on a shelf next to my bed with a bunch of other random stuff. Now, I noticed you're carrying a My Little Pony stuffed animal with you. Which character are you carrying? Uh, this is Vinyl Scratch. It's actually our DJ PON3, uh, which is the official name, I suppose. I, uh, I actually make these. I also wow. make hats, um, the arm Ooh. gloves belts, anything you can think of. What do your parents think about your obsession with My Little Pony? She just doesn't want to accept that I can watch a show designed for little girls that appeals to a wider fan base than that. Hmm. Now where do you store most of your My Little Pony collectibles? Out in the open, on my shelf. I actually put some in my car, or on me as you can see. Is it easy to get laid as a brony? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Well, isn't really one of the goals in life to get laid? Nope. Not for Just him. Just have fun. Have fun and enjoy life and watch My Little Pony. If you have had your choice, would you rather attend BronyCon today or have sex with a supermodel? Quite honestly, I'd be right here at BronyCon ponying it up. I just love it so much that it's Jeez. better than anything. Wow. It's just better than everything. Uh, what is the biggest misconception about bronies? That we're all cloppers. We're not all cloppers. Right. Now, what is a clopper? Somebody who masturbates to My Little Pony.